Today we're going to be upgrading this um, Lenovo i7 uh, notebook uh, computer. I think it's like a 2014. Uh, could be running a little bit faster. So um, what we're going to do is basically take this new SSD hard drive that I put in one of my other computers. And it really uh, made a major difference. So uh, we're going to upgrade this uh, second computer. And so I just wanted to go through a short little video to let you know what the steps are. This uh, bottom came off very easily compared to my last computer. Uh, but uh, what I'm going to do is I'll uh, kind of show you some of the things here. But here's the, uh, the model number. It's uh, an IdeaPad U530 Touch. Um, so what we do is go around the perimeter of this metal case on the bottom and take all the screws out. And uh, so that's that's pretty easy. You just kind of walk around the whole, whole shell. There's even a screw on the uh, little hinge piece. So you can get the screws out there and uh, take the bottom off and you turn it upside down. Uh, before I took the computer apart, what I did is I took this uh, little uh, hard drive uh, converter board, USB to um, SATA connector, and basically you, you plug this uh, solid state into that connector system. It's a two and a half inch drive, and then you plug in your, um, your USB connector into this particular computer. And then you go to the uh, the internet and you search for Samsung data migration uh, program from Samsung. And you download that to uh, your computer that you have the information on for your old hard drive. And um, you run their data migration program. And it easily just copies whatever is on this particular drive C over to the SSD drive. Uh, in my case, it probably took about uh, an hour and a half or so, but depending on your computer situation, it could be a lot longer. Um, so right now, I've got the uh, the new image copied onto that. I've got the, uh, the bottom taken off, and then I'm going to take this drive out. So there's four screws here. Basically, you know, you can pick up this unit this hard drive unit here. Let me see if I can pull that out easily. Get the camera going and everything. Let's see. So base, basically the uh, hard drive is coming up in the air. And then what I'm going to do is um, unplug the hard drive from here. And then I'll plug that connector into this interface and at the same time usually like on the side uh, to hold the hard drive into the metal casing um, there's little Phillips screws on the side here so I'm gonna have to pop those out on both sides and then the Western Digital Slim Drive can come completely out and then I'll just uh, take this new Samsung drive here which uh, will be going in here and I'll be there's screw holes on the side so th this is all plug and play this two and a half inch drive format so I'll put it in there and assemble all the the screws back into the bottom of the um, of the metal work into the onto the computer and turn it on and um, I believe it should boot back into Windows and uh, run about five times faster uh, compared to the mechanical hard drive that's uh, in here. So hopefully you like this uh, video. Uh, but this drive right here, it's a one terabyte solid state and it's like $110 on eBay or I mean um, um, Amazon. I did order one from eBay in the past, but when it got shipped to me, it was uh, a fake drive inside the box. So I went back to Amazon on that one.